Okay, now we're on the other side of the Daybreak Garden, so with Dave Fleming, and now we're gonna be talking about our other tomato plant, our Hungarian wax peppers, also that cabbage down there. Correct. Um, so that, you know, we can actually show, you know, we had some early grilled tomatoes here. Uh, they're a little smaller size, but I just want the uh, audience to know that when they turn, they're this ripe, you don't want to anticipate, well, I'll just leave them on longer to get a nicer, bigger tomato. Once they're ripe, you need to get them picked. Yeah, they're not going to grow any bigger That's than... That's correct. Not much by me. And then they'll get overripe. And then I went ahead and uh, I harvested a jalapeno and a Hungarian wax. Now, the Hungarian wax is a little immature, but it's still edible. Yeah. If you left it on there, it'd get a lot bigger. Jalapenos of good size. And uh, you know there that was ready to pick, and it does look good. Yeah, and hot. <laughs> we always like spicy stuff here on Daybreak. <laughs> now it's been a couple weeks. You harvested the first one. Yes. Uh, we're going to harvest this cabbage. There isn't much to it. You know, I use this soil knife. Has a little serrated. And, to cut and through the stem. Just cut through the stem, and even though you know it, it's got some bad um, layers to layers, it. Those can be cleaned up quite nicely, and you'll get down uh, to where the plant, you know, is nice and clean. A um, little easier if you don't have the gloves on, but I don't want to have, you know, stinky hands. <laughs> but uh, you can see here, I'm getting to the point, uh, you know, I'm getting down to where they're, you know, it, it's, it's pretty clean. And uh, you can make yourself some halushki. Yeah. Which is a uh, real nice, uh, you know, just some butter and, and some noodles, you know, and saute your uh, cabbage here. So, yeah, it's not looking too bad. Easy. You know, I could, if it was in a sink, a lot of this would clean up Easily. You know, with water. Yeah. I was peeling a lot of it off. But that was, you know, that's a nice small head of cabbage, you know, ready to be used. Now, the rest of the plant there, it's done. It's a one and done. So yeah, you so need we'll to make, just you need clear to make it out. Sure because, you know, cabbage plants have a lot of um, disease and bug problems at times. So you definitely want to remove the old plant so that it doesn't affect any of our other plants in the garden. You can see how quick that was. Now, one thing we want to talk about is the cucumbers. Yes, there. the cucumbers. The cucumbers, um, here we go again with my mic, <laughs> the cucumbers, mature very quickly. We're talking daily, very quickly. We um, um, planted bush style or pickling type. You can still slice these. They're great for pickling. This is a mature uh, cucumber here that was ready to harvest. This was left on probably no more than two or three days extra. And you can see how much larger it is, but it's yellow. Yeah. Yellow meaning that it's overripe. And uh, it's probably going to be a little more bitter if you eat it. It's probably still edible, but it's not going to taste nowhere near as good as that one, as the green this one. one here. Cucumbers, almost daily, you check because it's amazing the growth in 24 hours that they uh, Yeah, they grow develop. really fast. So you just need to check your plants daily. We're in that uh, ripe season right now on all of our vegetables. Just check the garden. But and, you can still uh, use the yellow cucumber for stuff like relishes. Probably you could. Yeah. It's all going to be a taste preference. Okay. So um, they get a little bitter. Yeah. But I guess, you know, if you add some other ingredients, it might take it away. Might still be good. Might still be good. So other than that, rule of thumb, check the garden. And uh, here in the next week. It is getting hot. We're getting back to Florida hot and we're getting back to dry. Yeah. Hopefully we can get some rain eventually, but can only just sit and hope right now. So enjoy the, the fruits of your labor of what we did, you know, 60, 90 days ago. And, uh, you know, vegetables like it hot and they like yeah. it dry. But in container gardening and raised beds, you need to just make sure that you keep things uh, hydrated. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in, Dave. Hopefully we can see you again in a few weeks, but we're gonna be having more on Daybreak right after the break.